Now I can get why this script about being wine snobs was so highly regarded when it came out. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my random review for Sideways. After watching The Holdovers at the end of last year, I got on a little bit of an Alexander Payne train, and there was a movie that had been in the back of my mind for years, literal decades, that I had not seen but I always meant to, and that was Sideways. This was a film that had a high regard for its script. The screenplay is adapted from a book uh, written by Rex Pickett, and Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor just weave a very, very funny movie that is also a inward look and self-existential crisis and Paul Giamatti playing the character from The Holdovers well before playing the character from The Holdovers. The similarities between his teacher character and Miles in this film is kind of funny. And even Paul Giamatti said that he was surprised that Alexander wanted him to be the main character in this film, but it just works so well. that The premise of the film is about these two friends, one of them played by Thomas Hayden Church, who is a fucking despicable dog in this movie, yet you somehow like him. They are going off on this little trip through wine country in California uh, for a week before Thomas comes back and gets married. However, on this trip, whereas Miles wants to just have wine, play golf, and just enjoy the California sunset. Thomas Hayden Church is like, this is my last week to be an unmarried man. I'm gonna go fuck me some women. While that crudeness is definitely on full display in it, and you can just see Miles just absolutely detesting his friend for it, Thomas Hayden Church's character Jack is able to just kind of give him these pushes into things that you almost are like, damn it, I hate you, but at the same time, you're not wrong for kind of encouraging him for this, and one of those is talking to Maya, played by Virginia Madison. She is this waitress who works at this restaurant who's going for her masters that Paul has talked to for years and kind of always been like, ah, it's never gonna happen, but Jack keeps on giving him a push, and so Miles finally starts to talk with her, and whereas Jack is getting it on with women like Stephanie and whatnot, he is talking with Maya, and what starts off as an awkward kind of relationship slowly starts to blend and to form, and Miles is combating both his own existential crisis of being a failed writer, kind of feeling like a failure in the, in the milestone of his life, and just seeing all of these opportunities and these things that he thought would come to him, or these things that he would have earned by now have not come to be, and he can see someone who is passionate about the same things he is, and he can see that in Maya. Maya has all of these things about wine, and while like the the dialogue about wine is like, like to a point where it's kind of insulting, the fact that Paul Giamatti admitted that he knew nothing about wine, and he actually took a little bit of pleasure in playing a character that was so fucking snobby about wine was really good. There are moments throughout this movie where you do laugh quite a bit, whether it's where he goes on this kind of rampage at a winery and takes a giant bucket and drinks himself, or where he has to go and get Jack's wallet back from a woman who, that he slept with and then the husband arrived. It, I was laughing so fucking hard through that scene. But there are these moments that just kind of hit you, almost kind of similar to that of how Martin McDonald's work with films like In Bruges or Three Billboards or Banshees would just all of a sudden just dive right into your heart. And there was a moment that happened at the very beginning with the movie when Miles visits his mom. Uh, there was another bit where he's having a conversation. Oh, there's, and there's another bit where they're all sitting and having wine and you can just feel the conversation getting very awkward because Miles is starting to delve into his depression. And there's even some good jokes about offing yourself, which... I actually laughed quite hard at that joke, because I, I did not expect it, but it was a pretty good one. This whole movie is a very existential look at what it must be like to go through your life to a point where you're kind of wondering what was your purpose and when will your purpose arrive, and also the relationships you have with friends. Even if they're despicable, you can see reasons as to why you are friends with them and why they are friends to you. 
And then the writing. The writing is just so good. It's very much akin to why I like the holdovers, the dialogue, the character interactions, the development, just how the story plays out, the humor, the very hard, uh, the hard hitting moments that make the story feel real. I can see why this movie was so sought after right up until the ending. And the ending I liked as well. And it had a very similar kind of, this is not the end of the story, but you're happy where it ends and you're curious as to where it would have gone kind of ending. And very much again, like what he did in the holdovers. It's a filmmaking storytelling tactic that isn't really used too much anymore because usually you are getting a very definitive ending with your movie. So to see something like this is warranted and very much appreciated. So in the end, I'm going to give Sideways a six out of seven. I really like this movie. I can see why the script was so well done. I really like the characters in it. I like the humor in it. It is kind of a movie about nothing, but in a well done way because it is about the characters. Thomas Hayden Church's character is fucking despicable. I don't know if you can make a character like this now, but he's also pretty good. He, d he does a really good job. He deserved the nomination for this. I'm not a big wine person at all, but I always wanted to watch this movie because I had heard so many good things about the script, so I'm happy I did. Very random review, but I recorded this review well in advance. I am now away on my travels, so I hope you guys are all having a good time. If you guys like this movie, tell me about it. Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to see what you guys are saying. I think I might be in Scotland by now, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.